Hey, what's up? Philip with Koba Labs here. Today we're going to be installing WordPress on DigitalOcean. If you're new around here, I teach you how to build sites using the latest tools out there. If you want to level up your dev skills game, consider hitting that subscribe button. Cool, let's hop on the computer. So the first thing we do is go to digitalocean.com. Once you arrive on the site, hit the login or create an account if you don't have one, and then sign in. And once you log into the dashboard, I have a few websites here already, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new project if you don't have one already. So we're gonna be doing our site, Koba Labs. And then here, you can add a description if you'd like, it's not necessary. And then what is the purpose of this? We're doing a website or blog. Okay, we don't have any resource we wanna move there. That's if uh, you have existing uh, images or anything like that. So we're just gonna skip that. And then for the next step here is we're gonna do get started with a droplet. So a droplet is like an asset on the server. And once you get to the droplets menu, the way you get to the WordPress one-click install is through this marketplace button right here. So once we click that, you're gonna see many different softwares and tools you can use that you can install on the DigitalOcean server. So in our case, we're doing WordPress. So we're gonna hit this WordPress button. This is version 18.04. So we're gonna select that and then choose a plan. We're just gonna do standard. And this is the way DigitalOcean prices their hosting. We're gonna do the cheapest one for now. And this cheap one is actually quick. So if you are looking for a hosting plan, I would actually highly recommend this. I used the cheapest plan on all of my sites here and it runs really quick. So we're gonna select that, $5 a month. Uh, we're not gonna do any backups here. You can pick any of these depending on where you're located. So if you're outside of the United States, choose which server is closest to most of your users. Okay, and if we scroll down here, you don't have to worry about any of these. SSH keys, we don't need that. Okay, and great, this is a host name. We're just gonna call this uh, Kova Labs. And then tags, we don't need any, select the project, all right, create. Once you create your uh, droplet, it's gonna have this progress bar where it's creating your hosting server along with the WordPress install. This should take about 20, 30 seconds to load, not too long. And as you can see, it finished. Once you install the WordPress and it finished loading, you should receive an email. And we're gonna see right here, your new droplet for Kova Labs. And you're gonna get this email with the username, a password, and an IP address. We're gonna need this to log into the data server. So the way we log in is we click on Kova Labs here, and we're gonna use the console they have built in here. So once you're in your project, hit that console button and you're gonna see the login information. It's asking us to log in. So if we go to our email here, the login is root. So we're gonna, we can just write that out, root, enter, and the password. We're just gonna copy this, and then we're gonna paste it. It doesn't show the password was pasted, but it did get pasted. Okay, and then current password, we're gonna paste the same one again, and then enter your new password. So I'm gonna type that out, enter, Type it out again, enter. You don't see it, but it does write the password. Great, so now it's asking us for the website name that we're gonna be hosting. So if you don't have one, don't worry about it. The site is already ready to go. And it, we can test that now. If we click, if we copy the IP address, open it in a new tab here, we can see that this is the IP address that is here and the WordPress is ready to be installed. Okay, once you have your information filled out, Click install WordPress and there we go, we have it installed. So we're gonna hit the login button. Our username was Philip and our password. And we're gonna say, remember me. And boom, there we have a new WordPress install with DigitalOcean and that's how you do it. It's a fairly simple process. It takes about five minutes to do, really simple. If you wanna change your uh, domain name to be not an IP address and an actual domain name, the way you do that is you go to your uh, project you created here, the droplet, and you click on uh, right here, the three dots, and you're gonna see add a domain. And once you do that, you enter your domain name. So in this case, kovalabs.co, add a domain. 
covalabs.co was added. So, and here's all the DNS settings you can use. So if we wanna point the DNS to our new hosted server here on DigitalOcean, you're gonna to have to add the domain name servers to the Google domain name servers or wherever you're hosting. If it's on GoDaddy, it'll be in the DNS section. So if we click on the learn how to do that button here, what's next? And if we scroll down here, if you're on GoDaddy, it gives you instructions and here's the domain name servers. If you're on Google like I am, you can click this Google button here and you can see here, enter the name server. So it's ns1.digitalocean.com and then one, two, three, they're the same thing. So we're gonna copy this, put it into our name server, add another one, copy it, replace it with a two, add another one, and we have number three here. Save, and there we go. We added the DigitalOcean name servers to our Google Domains account. There is one more step you need to do. You need to go into your WordPress dashboard, go to settings here, and then change your site address to be your domain sir, your domain name. So in my case, it was kovalabs.co. And then we're gonna click save. And this is telling WordPress that, hey, this is our domain name, not this IP address here that we generated with DigitalOcean. Then it'll start working within 24 hours after updating the DNS in your Google domain name servers. And that's my tutorial slash guide on how to get WordPress working on DigitalOcean. So if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you wanna stay up to date with web technologies and softwares, tools, et cetera, et cetera, tips and tricks, hit that subscribe button and I'll keep you in on the loop on some of the latest things coming out. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. See you next time.